everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, now I stumbled across something fantastic. Okay, now what's really popular right now? Pop music and like, you know, young, emo, weird dressing girls with funny colored hair. That's right, I found a Billie Eilish wig. <laughs> now I'm not exactly sure this is officially licensed, like they got the logo here and everything, but something tells me a suspicion is in the midst that this is not officially licensed by Billie Eilish. <laughs> Girl, I don't think she would approve that. Now this was $39.99, but best believe I did not pay that girl. I paid, let me actually look it up. There's an actual amount I paid here. It's really ridiculous. I paid $1.62 with $8.99 shipping. <laughs> Money well spent. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna try this on and then we're gonna try and make something out of this. I'm already kind of worried. All right, here we go. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the wig and oh boy, I could just say, I'm scared. I am scared, girl. Girl, what is this? My sideburns have never felt more seen. Oh my goodness. How y'all do Billy like this? That is wrong. She has Grammys, you know, like 19 Grammys. <laughs> kind of in awe of the little galaxy buns. Like this is really, in, this is really inventive. And I like the little like bangs going down. It's very 90s. Oh, I'm gonna get this off my head right now before I roast it. Okay, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the wig all pinned down on the head. Now this is not Billie Eilish, girls, like Billie Eilish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> poor Billie, anyways. Let's get started and inspect this. Now, as I'm going through this, I can see that like this, ba this buns, they're like glued on. So I wonder if I like pull them apart, what's gonna happen here? Okay, so they are pigtails. I was afraid it was gonna just be like a hair piece like stuck on. They are pigtails, they're just glued together. Ugh. Jesus Christ, get off of there. What's wrong with you? Okay, it's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. It's like wrapped up in a space bun, okay. <sighs> oh boy, there seems to be a wig cap here. Maybe I can take it off. Is there anything salvageable here? Can I work with this? Jesus, it looks like there is some hair here I can work with, so that's good. Let's just take down the pigtail and see how much is actually in this, because that could be what really does me in. All right, let's take this down. And is it a wig? Okay, it's actually a full wig, just about. I mean, <laughs> there are uh, some, there's some gaps, <laughs> and the tracks are sewn on an interesting way. They're all sewn going this direction because I guess they're it's made to be pigtails. It was born to be pigtails. So there's that. Let's take down the second one. Wish me luck. Okay. Now there are chunks of glue in the hair. And it looks like they can be pulled right out. So that's good. This is good. Now I have to say, as far as the hair fiber goes, it's not bad. It's like cosplay hair, if you know what I'm talking about. It's like that kind of hair. So I can work with that. That's good. It's not like, you know, your cheap little costume hair that we're used to seeing on this channel. Let's just try and get this gob of goo right off the top of it. Good Lord. Get out! For the most part with hot glue when it's in the wig, you can cut it out for the most part. Although this one's being a bit of a bitch. Get out of there! All right, well, I'm gonna pull hot glue out of the wig. I'll be right back and then we can start actually trying to style it. <laughs> BRB. All right, it is all taken down. I got all the hot glue out of it. I don't know if it was like hot glue or like bonding glue or something, but like it left black all over my fingers. So I'm not happy about it, but it's where we are right now, okay? So I'm gonna start by figuring out exactly what we can do with this wig. Now she is definitely gonna be something kind of an updo or something pulled back. I just don't really know what yet, but I have a few ideas. Oh, I'm gonna do a rooted hairline. That's what I'll start by. Now for all you folks who are new to my channel, I already have so many videos, like one especially dedicated to doing a rooted hairline. So I'm not gonna over explain myself or repeat myself. I'll link it down below for you, but I'll be right back. It's gonna be like a cut. <sighs> okay. I think I got the hairline about where I need it now. Jesus Christ, that took so long. Okay, now I'm gonna ignore the rest of this because it pissed me off and I don't wanna look at it anymore. So it's in its own little area now, it can sit tight. Let's work on the rest of the wig now. <laughs> so taking my teasing comb, I'm gonna separate and just pull this stuff forward. Yes, 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 here we go. And we're gonna go towards this area of the head where it's all bald <laughs> and try and work something out here to where it's not quite so bald anymore. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So let's just separation here. Jesus, okay. 
So much hair in the front and so little on the head. Okay, here we go. Now I got a little section here. It's gonna take that and create like a bubble tease the best I can. Let me just say, this hair is garbage. <laughs> Like, it seemed like good quality hair, but as I started working it, it is nothing but a tangle machine. Let's work on another section. Because the idea I had is I want to do like bionic pigtails. Sort of like a character I used to draw for my old comic books. She was a villain named Agatha. <laughs> and she was a full on Hot Topic goth with big ponytails and like bleeding eyes and magical powers. She was fabulous. But that's what I want to make today. It's like, you know, something very spooky. Very, you know, hot topic if it like became a sentient person. You could say she was a bad guy. Duh. Anyways. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Would you look at that? What happened here? Like there's tracks sewn here, but there's no hair. What the hell is that all about? There's so much and so little at the same time. All the hair, it's kind of like a Barbie doll, like the old vintage ones. Like you take her and you open up her ponytail. There's nothing under here. It's just all pulled back into a ponytail and all the rest of her head is bald. It's just all sewn around the like edges of her head. It's kind of like that. <laughs> all right, now it comes time to style. I have it all teased out with a hairline. Now the idea I had was to do pigtails and I think it's gonna work. So what I'm going to do here is take a hair tie and just keep this out of the way so it doesn't get swooped up and everything. Let's tie off the hairline. We're gonna start with this side and I'm going to try and get a hold of this and divide up this back section here as best as I possibly can so that we have an even amount of hair distributed. Part it like an There we go. Okay, spread it out. I'll try my best to pull it upward. And since I added teasing there, it should help to disguise all that middle section. Okay, I see the divide. Now, as I was styling this, I was trying to think of like Billie Eilish facts, but I don't really know a whole lot about her. I know she sings really, really low and Ernie really likes her brother. Phineas and Ferb, or whatever his name is. My <laughs> um, music's not really my taste, but you know, to each their own. Yeah, I don't really know much about her. I think she, the hair is fascinating. I like she wears baggy clothes. <laughs> she kind of looks like a lot of girls I like, hung around in middle school. <sighs> okay, let's tie that off. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I love the idea of something dark and taking something that's like notably like, you know, very, very juvenile and innocent and making it dark. I think that's so fun. That's partly like why the Addams Family is so popular or like Nightmare Before Christmas. It's taking something that's supposed to be like, you know, nice, innocent and fun and giving a little twisted dark kind of spin. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I am back. I got these pigtails tied. Now I had a stroke of genius. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna take these pigtail ends and I'm gonna tease them, right? Like just lightly give them some feathering and teasing just to pack it all up so I can make something I can mold. Getting rid of all the tails that I can because I have an idea. And I wanna see if I can make this work. I feel like I can if there's enough teasing in it and it's all combined together. So I'm just gonna do that. I wanna do something very, very spooky. Ooky spooky, you know? <laughs> like boom, she's ready for Dragula. Yes, that is what we're doing today. She's gonna look like the best little gothic cheerleader you've ever seen, like a monster high doll. Yes. Whatever happened to those? They still make those? My God, those were so cute. They were drawn by um, Glenn Hansen, who used to do all the caricatures for all the drag race girls. Oh, such, such a talented artist. Oh my God, look his stuff up. He also did like the artwork on the Bodman fragrances. Like remember those back in the 90s or early 2000s? Bodman. <laughs> And it had these like really muscular, beautiful guys that were kind of homoerotic, but that's besides the point. But yeah, Glenn Hansen, amazing artist. Now it's a little combined, let's combine it more. So I wanna have like almost Lydia Dietze kind of effect with it. And what you can't see is Ernie is flossing behind the camera. <laughs> that's how it should look, <laughs> which is almost a look in itself. Like, oh my God, that's so goth. Anyways, <laughs> Robert Smith as a ponytail. Yes, smooth a little bit. And what I'm going to do here is start spraying little by little because I want to make something I can mold. I want to create like almost like a bat wing with it, which means I'm going to have to mold it, tease it and trim it to get it to where I want it to go. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's huge. Okay. But it's not where I want it just yet. I want it to have a bit more structure and shape. So for teasing areas. I look like a little gothic pom-pom. Okay, this little bobby pin. I gotta change the way this hair is laying. So take a pin, 
just pull a bit of it down. That is looking cute. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> it's totally serving you some gothic vibes. She's just too precious for words. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, my wig head just gave up. All right, well, it's time to do the other side. This Billie Eilish wig said, no, ma'am, you are not going to style me today. She's like, I was $1, I'm gonna stay $1. It's similar to how I did at Alaska style last time where I'm just creating a bubble and then molding the hair around it. But I have to make sure the hair is all combined because then you can mold it and shape it. And it's light packing, so it's not like a hard, dense tease. You don't want to mat it. You just want it to be a nice little bubble. And sometimes hair is fun. That way you can manipulate it depending on like the fiber of it. If this was really, really soft hair, girl, you could not do this at all. When the hair is a bit rougher, take advantage. Okay, she's looking kind of cute. I just gotta do the same thing to the other side where I pin it a bit to hold it up. All right, now I just gotta trim the hairline and do some finishing touches to the rest of it and I'll be right back with the final result. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. Woo, I'm so spooky. <laughs> I love it. I think it turned out really, really cool. I even did like a little widow's peak with like my hairline. I think it's really cute. Now I have to say this hair was awful. I would probably never work with it again. It deceived me very much. Like it looked like really good quality hair, but it was absolutely terrible. I can understand why it was on sale for so much. My God, I managed to get something out of it. So, you know, kudos to me. And I also have my hands all dark from it. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna go grab the acetone. Now this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The Jade's Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code James20 or Mansfield for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. It's for your no-no bits. And you like my lipstick? I'm wearing Nocturne by Sugar Pill. <laughs> Use my code. Well, actually, I don't have a code. Give me a code, Sugar Pill. <laughs> also, they sent me this big, gigantic suppository. No kidding. <laughs> it's their 10th anniversary collection. It's up in here. Oh, I took the palette out already and the lipstick. But you get what I'm saying here. <laughs> get it, Sugar Pill. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Billie Eilish transformation. <laughs> Jane's Mansfield claims she didn't do her Venn moments or her PayPal moments because her microphone was dying. Jane's Mansfield doesn't care about her fans. The names she should have said were Matthew, Sergio, Evan, Bo, Alexander, Cesar, Jack, and Nicholas. She forgot all those names. Jane's, Jane's Mansfield, Mansfield doesn't care about her fans. fans. If there's any other wigs you guys like me to style, let me know down below. I'm always open to suggestions. I just stumbled across this, you know, out of the blue. <laughs> now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Bye! Hit the outro! <laughs> Click here and watch me recreate Alaska Thunder Fun's iconic buns from her cover of Pound Cake. Or see me recreate Peg Bundy's iconic hair. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'm going to talk on and 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 on because I want this video to get to at least 14 minutes. Is it there? Okay, it's there. Okay, bye. If you don't click it, Netflix will raise their prices again. So click it.